What is up, YouTubians? Kudam Malo here coming at you with another exciting morning video. Okay, so everybody's been asking me how I make a fried egg, right? Over easy, sunny setup, whatever you want it to be, in a stainless steel pan. This is the all-clad D3 10-inch skillet. So it's totally cold. I'm touching the pan so you can see that it's totally cold. What I want to do is I want to turn my pan on. It's clean too, by the way. What I want to do is I want to turn my pan on to medium heat. So just shy of medium, let's say. <clears throat> right? So just shy of medium. Biggest burner I have. Pan goes on. It's going to warm up for about a minute. So right now it's 658. These are all the tips and tricks that I'm teaching you to try to get the perfect non-stick over easy egg. Right? So, do do do. <laughs> We're gonna wait about a minute. This is all part of the process. Basically, I'm heating up the metal, trying to get the. Oh, you know what's a good thing to talk about right now? Since I have a minute, I would like to talk about the like button over here and the subscribe button over here. You can hit both of those on YouTube if you like what you're seeing. Also, down there in the link there, down below in the description, there's a link to my Facebook page. Facebook forward slash. Cooter Malloy product reviews. Go ahead and visit that page if you like what you're seeing. Go ahead and give me a like on there and a subscribe. That really helps me out a lot. Uh, so what's going on here? Basically, you have a stainless steel skillet. That, like I said, all clad D3. What I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to heat up the metal, basically, to try to open up the pores. So right now, it's 6.59. It's been a minute. What I want to do now is I want to put in about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil. So we're just going to pour right in the middle, right? That's about like a tablespoon and a half, I'd say. And then what I want to do is I want to swirl this around to coat the bottom of the pan entirely, right? So these are all the tips and tricks to getting your egg not to stick. And of course, if, if you can make a fried egg in any kind of pan that's a true skill of chef mastery where you know that you've actually gotten the skills to pay the bills, right? <laughs> okay, so swirling this around. Now what I wanna do is I wanna let this sit for give or take about another minute. So it's 6.59, so, this is a.m. by the way. I wake up early just for you people. Okay, so it's 7 a.m. now. So here's <laughs> another little Another little trick is butter. You've got a tablespoon and a half of oil in there. I use olive oil. What I want to do now is I probably want to put in maybe, what is that, just shy of a tablespoon, let's say, or that's about one tablespoon of butter. So I'm going to put this in the pan, and what I'm listening for is the sizzle. If I hear the sizzle, then I know that the oil's hot enough, right? So let's go ahead and put the butter in. You hear that nice little sizzle? So now what I want to do is I want to move this around, right? Get the butter all swirling in there. So total amount of, let's say, fat that is in that pan right now is about two and a half tablespoons, let's say. And if you notice, the sizzle stopped, right? The sizzle stopped. My butter's getting nice and brown, right? It's not burning because I'm still on medium heat. So now what I want to do is crack my eggs in. So let's do one egg at a time. These are cold. They just came right out of the refrigerator. If you can do them with warm eggs, it's even better, like room temperature eggs. But let's go for it. So let me switch hands so I can do this a little bit easier. But what I want to do is crack my egg. And I'm trying to place it gently in the buttery part, right? Not the dry part up here, but the buttery part. So let's go ahead and do that. You hear that nice little sizzle? And I'm just gonna leave it there, I'm not gonna touch it. Let's go for egg number two. Right, and I wanna crack it in the in the wet part of the pan, not the dry part up here. So I crack this part, just nice and gentle. Right, there's my second egg. And then what you can do now is, because this part of the pan is still the most, or has some more of the buttery fat or the oil in there, and or both. What I want to do is move this around, and then now I can drop in my third egg. So here's my third egg. 
right? Nice and gentle, just easy, gentle, gentle. There's my third egg. I probably could have done a fourth egg if I wanted to, but maybe you got a big family, you're doing keto, you're trying to get all that good fat and protein in there. And if you notice, I haven't touched my pan. I haven't moved it, I haven't shaken it, I haven't done anything. Remember, we started with a nice clean pan. We're on just below medium heat. This is an all-clad D3 stainless steel pan. Okay, so give or take now, since I dropped in my last egg, it hasn't been a full minute, but we're getting close. Uh, what I do want to do is I want to let these sit for about, I'd say like two minutes on each side, something like that, minute, minute and a half, two minutes on each side. Uh, so since my first egg got dropped in, that's been two minutes for sure. I'm just waiting for another minute or so for that last egg that I dropped in there. But if you notice, I'm not touching the pan. I'm not shaking it. I'm not poking at it. I'm not doing anything. This was a completely cold and clean pan when I started. Uh, so I'm almost ready. When that clock hits 7.04, I'm ready to just give it a shake and see where I'm at in terms of non-stickiness do do jeopardy theme song right do do, do. hey oh, hey here's another chance for you to click that like button <laughs> and hit that subscribe button here on youtube remember down in the description or down below there's links to a lot of great little products there's also a link to my facebook page cooter malloy product reviews make sure to visit that check out some cool links if you like shopping online all that good stuff uh go ahead and visit the facebook page so, okay, so 704, there we go, all right. <clears throat> so now what I wanna do is I just wanna take my pan, hopefully this will move. Okay, so we have a little, a little bit of stickage. What I wanna do is just move my butter around a little bit. Okay, so now is when you can take your wooden implement, right? Wooden spatula, or I can use this one, it's a little bit of thinner profile. Now what I want to do is just gently poke, gently poke, gently poke, right? Let's give it another shake. And there you almost, it's that last egg that needed just a little more time. Let's come under here and just poke a little bit. There we go. And it released. So just gentle, gentle. Now you've got the hockey puck action going on, right? I'm completely free. Let's see if I can turn this. <clears throat> completely free, right? It's moving around, as you can see, hockey puck action. So if you like your eggs sunny side up, you're pretty much done. If you like them over easy or over hard or whatever, that will be a time to do your flip. So look at that nonstick action, right? I'm gonna go ahead and do for flip. Oi, perfect, almost. <laughs> right, I'm still non-sticky. I just wanna fix this one. You know, it's hard to film these YouTube videos with one hand, but I'm doing this all for you people. Okay, so as you can see, just gentle, 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 right? Gently moving the pan. Even that runny part right there is still moving around on sticky as you can see. See that little runny part right there? Even though it's still running, my pan remains non-stick. Look at that beautiful sliding around action. So that's the trick, or those are the tricks to keeping your pan non-stickage. Cooter Malloy, hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next one. Like button, subscribe button, down there in the description or down below. Cooter Malloy product reviews on Facebook. Go ahead and follow me. Subscribe to me on there if you like what you're seeing. And just to give you one last little thing, I do like my eggs right about here, so this is where I'm gonna stop. This is where I'm gonna take my pan off the heat, shut the heat off, and then get ready for service. So there you go, guys. Cooter Malloy, I will catch you guys, you lovely people, on the next video. <laughs>